Okay, I'm getting back into trading after being a while away. Let's monitor our active trades. We've got Euro Aussie. This is on the Aldi chart. Stop loss is there. Do we expect to bounce back? Do we wait? I don't know. What's the daily? We've got to take profit up there. So I'll just wait. Next one, let's just do go through these. UK, this has been terrible for me because I put in here and it went up and down and up and down went negative. Now it's finally in my favor. We're just leaving it off. Let's see how we go. I, put, I bet too much on that one. So you can see the profit is great, but the, yeah, that's a big, a big bet. Do we think it'll go? I mean, generally UK goes up before Christmas and we're at the end of October, beginning of November. So I don't expect to make money on this. I don't know why I'm doing it. Why is my, what is my logic? I mean, it's gonna, I think it's gonna hit that channel bottom, but here it is, channel bottom, let's have a look. Let's go to the weekly view and go back to last year. How did it do? This 2021, wow. It did nothing, it does not move. UK stock market has been basically static since 2023-2024. That's okay. That's how it is. Here you go, 2024. So this was December 2023. It has been, it went down and it went up. What's that? December 21, December. We're, so that's basically where we're at now. It went up. We're in October 24 end of October, last year it went up. And then what happened the year before? 20, the end of 2023, November, let me move this out of the way, drag it back a bit and move it back out of the way. So, well, come on, don't be crazy machine, come on. Okay. Wee, it's gone into crazy. Okay, let's have a look at 2022, end of 21, October was here and just did that. Okay, that's in February. There's no, there's no way to know what's going to do. I'm just expecting it to to bottom out the channel. And if it doesn't, I'll get my stop loss and I'll be okay. Next bet, I mean trade Euro Aussie, and that's doing okay. We've got to take profit. We'll just leave it. Stop losses break even. Good. Aussie US, stop loss is break even, got to take profit, it's just a channel trade, these are all just channel trades. US Chief, same thing, stop loss is break even, take profits up there. Uh, Litecoin, same thing, I just love these channel trades for some reason. Uh, Pound Japan. Let's see if we can find some actual good trades. Now, this one is just breaking even. Our stop loss is down here at negative 10%, and that's take profit at whatever it's going to be, 10%. It's very iffy, iffy. I'm getting into the crappiest trades now. Slightly break even. I got a stop loss. Do I have a take profit? Way down there. Why do I think that it's going to go? way down there i guess it is it's like a boom like a what do you call that thing uh what's that thing called fibonacci not the pitchfork none of those fib retracement so if we go from where i think it's going to be i we should go from the bottom but whatever we'll go from the bottom to the top And that's a retrace. That's a. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> that's a. That line is basically that line. Looks like it to me. Delete. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'll just. That's copper. Ah, because it always goes down. That's why. And did it go down? Let's have a look at it. In Christmases. November. Actually went up last year. Okay, and then here in November. It went up and down, so there's nothing to say, nothing to do. We just think the price of copper is going to go down. Next, New Zealand Swissy. 
that's generally going down and down and down and down and down. So we're just like, yep, it's probably going to go down more. Next, what is this? Uh, two year trade. Now, this thing cost me so much. What is that word? Margin. $13. It's not that bad. Okay. No, this one. $125 margin to be at a negative 50 cent loss. Why do I? I don't know. Okay. US Japan. Let's scroll a bit so that it wakes up. And we are long. And I think we're right to be long. It's had a long down strand and it seems to be happily going up now. But who knows uh, how long was this? This well, let's get our ruler out. Downtrend was August twenty four to July twenty four. So that wasn't that was a month. Okay. This is US Japan. Oh, Japan had that big down thing, didn't they? Um, is it going to recover? Everyone thinks seems to think it is. Ethereum. Are we shorting it? Yeah. And it's going the wrong way. Ethereum's had this bouncing off this trend line, doing, doing, and then it's broken through it. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm at negative ten dollars, and my risk is super high. What's my risk? Another three dollars. So if it goes up another, we're gonna lose fourteen dollars if it goes. It keeps on going up. I don't expect. I think it'll come down again. See, it's had trouble. It's got a lower high there. Lower low. This is like a top that it never goes above. See, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Where are you going to go down? Okay, let's look for some new trades, baby. US, that's the channel, but I'm already halfway through. So there's nothing I can do. Aussie US, I'm already in it. Pound US, that is channel but is it gonna go all the way down from the top to the bottom like that hmm trend is down because that's the trend below that trend mark it's had four consecutive downs are we already in a lot of us we're longing the us there we're shorting to us against litecoin we're shorting the US of copper. I guess it just doesn't matter. It's not really US, is it? We're longing the US there. And here we'll be longing the US again if we go in shorting it. If we go in shorting copper pound. Does it seem like a good deal? Let's have a look at the hourly. Hourly is on its way up. It's said it's said the actual price is down here, so it's probably the, the at the top of the reversal. What if we went from, hey, come back. What if we went from, <laughs> come on. Everything's funky is happening, okay. What if we bet on this channel and that's the top of the channel and now it's gonna come down to the bottom of the channel. Let's see what would happen. Let's put a marker in. And do the small test. So we're going to say it's going to come down to there, and that will be our take profit. And it's going to come up to one. We don't expect it to go above that. So if we go in at a short on the hourly chart, which is probably a really bad idea, stop loss one dot three o two six o, and take profit at one dot two nine. And then we pump this up to two thousand dollars. Uh, Three thousand dollars. We're risking ten percent of our account, which is eleven dollars. We're going to make thirty-five. If we hit that, we're going to make thirty-five. If it goes up, we're going to lose eleven dollars. Hmm. But it's an hourly chart, and pound and US are really variable and manipulated by the big banks. I mean, look at that block. It's been hugging this bottom of the channel for ages though, and now it's just made a stop of the channel. 
And the only thing that makes me think that's the top is because the price is actually down here now. There's no other markers to say that's the top. Let me just get rid of this. Get rid of that. <laughs> no, no markers. I mean, that, that that's a good top there. That's a strong line there. That's a strong line there. Actually, that's a, I mean, that's a reason to be strong. You see this trend line? Shh. This is a, a certain amount above. Above anyone. Anyway, anyway. It's a line. It's a flat line. And it's acting as a resistance. Hmm. And is that a flat line acting as a resistance? Is a small flat line acting as a, as a resistance? And let's look at the minute then. Why not? Yeah, baby. Okay, it's already going down in the minute chart. But it's gonna it's gone up, down, up, down, up, down. So probably it's not worth meditating getting into. Okay. Next chart, pound US. Let's try and make it quick. Already in it. Euro Japan. So Japan's going up and I've already got several Japan longs here, so I'll just forget the Japan pairs. Aussie, I think I'm already in it. Nope. I lost out and it was in my recent uh, fails. Aussie, well, yeah, I was I was long and it took me out for 13 bucks, bro. <sighs> Are we gonna get in now? It's going up, it's hitting the hitting that line, going up, going past that line, going up. Probably gonna go down a little bit. I don't think it's the right time to get in. I will wait till it starts going up again. Bitcoin, happy days, trail. I mean, look at that, that's such a good pattern. But then it's broken out of it again. What's it doing? 72K. It's doing what it's doing all right. It went up and up and up. And then it had this weird revolution and now it's going up again. Bitcoin is expensive, so it's hard to get in because I have to risk a lot of my account. So I'm just gonna. And there's no real strong trade there. <clears throat> Bitcoin Cash, same thing, went down this big downturn, then broke out of it. What's it gonna do next? I mean, the trend says it's going up. The long term trend says it's going down. But who knows? Could be, could be a reversal right now. Let me drink some coffee. No strong trade there. Next. Rent crude oil. I have only ever lost on this. I won like once and lost every other time. Why you ask? Because it moves slowly and it takes a long time. Don't know. Let's leave it. Bund. This is a very low. What do you call that thing? They won't lend me much money to get in, so I've got to put my own margin in. So it's expensive to trade in terms of margin. But look at that. That's uh. I mean that's that's bouncing off a trend line. Boing trend. Boing trend. Boing trend. Boing trend. And it's probably going to go down. I think we're fairly certain that it's going to hit that again, but here it didn't. It's got a higher low. This trend says it's up still, but it seems to be bouncing off close to that line. Hmm. Let's have a look at it. See what we're going to risk. I'll put a, a line one above that. That'll be a 10% risk. Is it going to hit the bottom again? That's the lowest low it's ever had. Or is it going to hit there? Let me just ma manually put that in. Ah. Move it along so it can click on it. All these controls are in the way. Okay, so get rid of that line earlier. So let's have a go. What would happen if I put our stop loss at 136.360 and our take profit at 
one three one at one three one dot four nine three. If I bet two, it's gonna be risk ten percent of my account. One percent of my account, I mean, and how much margin? I'm gonna use eighty-seven dollars for margin. And I take profit as four dollars. Is the gap so high? What? Take profit one three one. Maybe I meant to put one two nine. Ah, uh, one two nine five four two. One two nine dot five four two. It's not worth it. Not worth it at all. I'll get rid of that line because it was confusing. And that, yeah. No, go away, Bund. China, the great dragon of shares. Okay. These are the Hong Kong shares of China. Beautiful thing going down in the bottom of the channel, all the way down. Higher low, higher high. And we're just waiting for the higher low. So we can long it, but right now nothing. Let's just take a note. Um, where's the text? After a day makes its higher high, go long it. And text wrap, and okay. Shrink it up. That's my note for today, and I'll put it. I don't know, I'll put it there. Okay. Copper. Anything new on copper? We're already shorting it, and we're doing okay. We just break even. That's a lower high there. I think it's good. Next corn. Wait for Ali to go down. I wrote that a long time ago, though. Like way over here, and I should have waited. I don't know. Did I get it? I don't know. Corn is going down out the wazoo. Get rid of my notes. Giant downtrend, giant downtrend, and then it's coming up and it's uncertain. Ether already in it. And I'm shorting it and going badly so far. China in China shares. It's trying to make a comeback. I think that's going down, man. I think that's a safe down bet. I mean, here it's hugged the channel down. It's pushed the channel down already. It tried to make a comeback. That was October 24th. That was 18 October, 17 October, 18 October. It's just uncertain right now what it's doing. Let's look at the hourly. Hourly is doing a good drop down. So if I were to short it, where would I put the stop loss? Probably there, that line. And then what sort of profit would I see? Would it just carry on going down? Historically, now let's see how many bars this is. This went down, I'll just roughly count it. Uh, I can't see because this thing is in the way, 108 bars. That's like, Okay, it's 108 days. Move that out of the way. That went down 18 bars, right? And then this downtrend was 15 bars. And then this downtrend that I'm on right now, it's already in 13 bars. Is it going to reverse? I don't know. It tried to, it's not doing it very well. Just wait. Europe, what we're doing in Europe. That's a channel trade. Look at that. It's a trend line up. Wait for it to bounce off trend line and then breaks or break through it. So we're just going to wait. But I was also going to say that's going to, that's the top of the channel and that's the bottom of the channel. France, that has broken through the upward trend line. What does that mean? Is it going to carry on going down now? Or is that going to become the new resistance? Let's wait for it to go up. Nothing to do. Germany. That's going up, but had some trouble here. That's going to become the new support, basically. There's a channel here going up. That's about to hit that channel. 
That's the bottom channel. Hmm. Just leave it. Gold. Expensive to trade. That's going. Man, this gold is amazing. Expensive to trade because I don't get margin on it. I would love to just jump in on that though. On the hourly. To come back in a few hours after it does that and then goes up one. When it went through that line, it went up. But I'll be asleep. Okay, next one, gold, silver. This is such a weird one. It's so range bound. It went jump, range, jump, range, jump, range bound. Wait for short. I'm in the short. It's literally shorting right now, me. I've got this uh, take profit here. I don't know why I put these lines on here. Delete. If I were to short with the hourly as a test, like I would put there. Range bound, wait for, okay. Um, hourly's up. I don't know if I can get in there, man. Too much risk. If I go in now, I'll be halfway through the channel already, so it's a 50-50 bet. But if I set my stop loss on an hourly level, like there, how safe am I? If I put it up there, I'm pretty safe, but that's 84 point, oh, I forgot to read it, 86.5. And if you look at 86.5 on the daily, 86.5 up here. It's basically. Uh, mm, how strong is that trend line? How long strong is that, that resistance? Pretty flat. Pretty flat. Okay, let's do 86.5. And what's our take profit going to be? I've already put it in 73.6. So 86.5 is a pretty safe trend line. 250 bucks, man, come on. And that's just for one unit. And you can't go 0 0.1. It's out of my league. I cannot trade that, sorry. Hong Kong. This is similar to China. It's going down and then is it gonna, when's it gonna go up again? Get rid of all these extra markings that we don't need. That's a trend line. That's a downtrend line, which has been passed through. Let's just get rid of it. Get rid of everything. I mean, a chart speaks for itself, basically. Everybody hates it. Everybody loves it. And nobody knows what they're doing. Love it. No. Love it. No. So I reckon that that's going to be, I'll do the same thing. If it's going to be a higher high, then get in. When you see a higher low, then get done. Uh, how do I get this down? Okay. What's next on our list? Japan. Japan had that big boom. I made 700 bucks on that. And then lost it all. <laughs> and it seems to be a pretty simple pattern of going. Let's do a trend line on there. Array. Because that looks pretty consistent. Somewhere around there. But then it has that top channel as well. Is that coming off anything? No. It's just hitting that, hitting that. It's getting higher and higher and higher. I think that's a pretty safe bet. That Japan's coming back, man. Let's put a stop loss down here on that trend line thing. And what if we were to take a take profit up the top here? It's probably gonna go higher, but let's see what a trade would look like. Normal uh, thirty-seven thousand six five five. Um, 
So we are risking $300 at 0.1, no money. And then our take profit is 41584.5. We're risking 299 and we're going to make 297. I'm going to type in this number in right 37665.7. 37665.7. Why does it seem so close? This looks hard because we're already halfway there. This, if I bought there, it'd be great, wouldn't it? <sighs> okay, what if we could get in and cheat the system? on the hourly with a small amount of risk the hourly is currently down no we can't I gotta, I gotta stop being a gambler man sorry Japan you're too rich for me Litecoin already in it natural gas nice trend line there I bet you it'll break through it though um, nothing to do. Why did gas go down so much? Netherlands. Higher high, higher low, higher high. So the trend is up. Wait for it to bounce off. I'll do the same thing there. Wait for... Wait for higher low than long. Bam. I'm nearly running out, man. Palladium, I've lost so much money on this because I thought it was going down, and look, it didn't. Go away, Palladium, I don't like you anymore. Platinum. What are you doing, Platinum? I mean, just riding the channel, making a new channel down. Riding the channel, making, it's just this channel this range bound and then here it didn't do range bound it just went there it's going all the way down i expect that that will raise up to the top but then how much risk am i going to take on it i'll just put wait for range bound and then short and my message to myself in the future wait for top off channel then short yeah i think that's a good move because i mean it never it hardly push it i'm going to push it up there but that was in 2021 next is what happened to all my stuff seems to have gotten out of sync how do the oh the, the markets are here platinum silver aussie Silver just went up, shot out of my pretend channel, it didn't exist. Where are all these markers? Man, I wish I longed right there, look at that. Is there any chance for me to get in on silver? On the hourly? Not right now, it's going down. I want to go up. Singapore. Singapore doing well, I'm glad, because they had that super slump look in 2020. That must have been COVID, I guess. They never really got out of it, and now, now they're going up. Good job, good on you, Singapore. So I would say that I should have got in there in August 2020, August 14th. Okay, nothing to do here. It's going up. Is there a way to get in on the hourly, on the super trend? Nope, Aldi's down right now. And soybeans, what are you doing today? Oh man, everybody hates soybeans. 2022 went up. 2023, just going out the pooper. And it's hitting this bottom and not going up again. That channel was down, I was <laughs> below that. Will it keep going down? Who knows? I mean, that's a higher, I would say that's a lower high, lower high, lower high. I reckon it's a good one to go down on. Let's put a risk in a 10.707 there. 
and sell it. Is there a good, um, what's that word? I have to put in a lot of margin, 58 bucks. If I buy 39 units, I have to put in $58. So it's basically a bad margin. And wait, I want to go to 10 units, $15. I'm going to nine units because I only want to risk one percent of my account. Eight units. That'll do. So ten seven or seven is my. If it goes above that, I'm going to lose one percent of my account. If it goes down, which it probably will, because that's a lower high, lower high, lower high. But we're going to have our twelve dollars of margin. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Yay, I made a trade. How much margin have I got left? I don't know. We'll find out next time I make a trade. That's going down. Waiting for the higher. Hi, that's Spain. Sugar, what are you doing? That's a good short right there because that. Look, the price is just starting to come out of that. What's the owl you doing? Oh, he's going up, but I reckon if I went in a 23 and a half stop loss, zero dot two three twenty three and a half cents. I want to go 12, I'll go 450 units. What are we doing? Are we gonna risking 11 dollars 23 and a half cents? Aldi's unsure. It's had a big uptrend here, which was from September to the 25th of September. Is sugar going to go down? This is November 23, January 24. And here we are, September 24. So between November and January 2023, it had a good drop. Did it do that in 2022? No, it just did nothing. Sugar basically didn't move from 2022 to 2023. Is it worth trading it? Is it worth holding that open for such a long time? Supposing I had gone in last year, I would have made what? Just do a measure from there to there. Oh, eighteen percent. That's not bad. Over forty-seven days. Why did it drop it then? I don't know. Twenty twenty was COVID. Went down. So are we expecting a giant fall in sugar? Do we want to hold twenty dollars of margin open for the whole time? Hmm, is it really going down or is that a fake, a fake out? Could I draw a trend line? If I did a trend line from that one to that one, it's already broken through it. Is there any other sign to say that that's a top? I mean, there's a top there. I didn't get through it. No, I don't like it. It's not a... It's not a happy trade, it's a, I'm trying to force it, which means it's not right. Switzerland, bam, short, bam, short. 2020, wow, Switzerland is a good trade because it just moves a lot. Higher low, higher high. I reckon that's going up, but it's going down right now, so I kind of want to get into it. UK. I'm shorting it for no reason because I think it's range bound because it hit that range. And hit that range. Anyway, we're break even, so nothing to lose. UK bonds. Bonds, they don't give me much margin, so I don't like them that much. Should I even bother? Is that a real trend line? Go away, trend line. That looks like a good top, though. 
but we're already halfway through it, so there's no point in carrying on. More UK bonds, not oh, US bonds, okay. Very range bound, dum dum dum, dum zigzaggy. But that's a higher low and a higher high, so it's probably going to go up. We don't want to short it right now. <clears throat> higher high, higher low, higher high. Why am I shorting it? I shouldn't have shorted it because it's going to get a higher low. What's well, going to get there right now? I'll just break even once I'm down there. Let me. What is that word? Write a note to myself. Uh, get out of this short long once you get a higher low. I expect the higher low to be lower than where we are now, so I'll just leave it. Hmm. Or I could just lose 64 cents right now. Bite the bullet. Why did I decide that this would be good? Because I thought that the bonds, I thought it's very range bound. It hits that trend all the time. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. Let's leave it next. More bonds. I mean, let's see how that's doing. Same thing. It's going low, low, low. NASDAQ. Now we're into the trades. Woohoo. Exciting. Going up out the wazoo. I should have got in there. September. Hmm. I think that trend line is probably good. But too late now. Um, what about a top trend line is there? Can I line these up? I'm just making up numbers now. That's a top. And that's a top and that's a top. Let's make it more parallel. I can just pretend to move it there. It's funny how trend lines are a creative art. What are we thinking? It's going up. Can we get in? I love the NASDAQ because it moves so quickly. How all these up except it's down right now. Oh man. This is 24th of October, 25th of October. Oh, it's going to go up because of the Halloween, isn't it? Let's find, let's choose between all the American stocks which one to get. We've got the NASDAQ 100, we've got the Russell 2000. Also going up. Oh, it's actually down right now. Look, the price is down here. Is that a double top? I'm gonna get rid of these trend lines because they look totally out of place now. That's a good trend line though. I'll draw that one in. Uh, bam, bam. Hmm. Because America always loves its Halloween, Black Friday, Christmas, retail, S&P 500. It's shooting out the reserve. And when did it start shooting up in September? Did they all start shooting up in September? Do I need to remember to buy in September? They did, September. Always buy American stocks in September. Now we know, okay. S&P 500, so if we're gonna choose one to buy, Hourly, I mean, we could go in here with a stop loss at 5784. We should be, would be fine because look, it's a channel. Then it goes up as they're here. Okay, here it went down, but that was September last year. I'm going to try and the arrows on that clock because it slipped back a bit. I'll try and... Sorry about that. And back into it. S&P 500, look, it's here, it's a, it's a channel here, it's a channel here, and then shoots up. Is it going to shoot up again? Should I have gotten down there in October? The 24th of October, yes, I should have. 
Hmm. If I go in now, is it going to give me another shoot up? And how much will it give me? Uh, not about that thing. I want the measure tool. Oh, my wife's here, so I'm going to get two percent. Is it worth going in now? That's the question. This is the hourly. To be on the daily, we got higher low, higher low. Okay, I think we can't. I think we just missed out. We just can't get in there now on any of those stocks because they you don't know what they're gonna do after Halloween and Thanksgiving. Uh, T bond, it's going down. It's broken out of that channel that I fake channel that I made. But that's lower high, lower high. Higher high. Nothing, nothing definitive. Wall Street thirty. I did this already. No, I didn't. Okay, this is the top thirty. See, they're going down now. Nothing to do right now. They're at the peak. Oil, West Texas. I reckon that's going to be a reversal. But it's already gone past the bottom of the channel. I'm gonna take myself a note and get rid of these lines. Channel reversal upward. Wait for first up candle. Yeah, so like if it goes up one candle into the channel. Then I'll know it's a channel reversal. And I'll grab it. Okay, looks like I've got to do stuff. I'll be back. Okay, it's near time for bed. Let's finish our trading. Channel reversal upward. Wait for first up candles. Nothing to do there. Wait, wheat. What I'm doing with wheat? That is a higher high channel block. What's it doing? Nobody knows. I reckon that's a, a lower high. It's going to keep going down. I reckon we're safe to trade that. Let's put in a... I think it's going to be too expensive with the way of margin, though, but we'll see. So stop loss is five dot nine seven seven. We're not putting a take profit. That's forty six dollars. We don't want to. We want to waste twenty or eighteen. We're going to buy eighteen units of wheat. No, Sixteen. I reckon that's pretty safe. I mean, it's going down. Risking one percent of my account. It's just going to go down. For, oh, I forgot to see how much margin that's using. I guess we'll find out now. Let's have a look. No, it doesn't tell you thirteen dollars. That's okay. That's okay. Cool. Aussie CAD. Already short. We're happy about that. Aussie Chiff. We should be short, but we're already short Aussie anyway. Aussie Japan. We're already long Japan. I think. In other places, da, 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 US, Japan, pound, Japan. Yeah, it's, come on, we can't keep on doing the same over over risking. Now, this is Aussie Kiwi, that's range bound. It's already hit the top, it's going down. It's always between dollar ten, dollar eleven, and dollar six. So, that's I'm happy with that. Dollar Kiwi is pretty safe. I mean, Aussie Kiwi. Hey, what happened to my click and then click? So the stop loss is a dollar eleven. Take profits a dollar six. Although there are higher highs and higher lows, historically it has stuck in this range. When did it go down? This was February. 
last year. Is it gonna go down again? July, August, October. It's not gonna go all the way down. It's not a beautiful, it's not a beautiful bull like that. I don't know what happened there. This happened because New Zealand has higher interest rates. That's why it's up. Is New Zealand gonna cut its interest rates? Let's have a look. Well, let's have a look at the um, sentiment. Aussie Kiwi. What is everyone else doing? Mix. Nobody knows. See, that's the thing. It's it's range bound, but it's also choppy. It's not an easy go in and get your money. Hmm. Okay, leaving it. Next, Cat Japan. I forgot to check the sentiment on all my pairs. That's another long Japan long, so we'll just we'll just skip over it. Shift Japan, Japan long, Euro Aussie. We're happy going long. Okay, we're already in. I reckon we'll make that. I'm gonna change that stop loss into a trading stop loss, I think. Da, da, da. And just copy the stop loss now and put it in the training. Because, why do I say that? Because it's not an easy one, it's just, I don't know how to say it, it's just, how much are we making? $8. It goes up and down. No, maybe not. You know what? I'm going to be patient. Forget the trading stop loss. Change my mind. Just click it and then we can delete it. Okay. Let's try and get the full take profit, whatever that is going to be. $12. Woo! Or I could get my $8 now and get out. Ah. <sighs> Because the hour is going down. My, my luck is reversing. I've got a good chunk. What if we just close half the trade and get $4? I've never tried this. Is, this is a practice that I've heard of. Um, let's go to lock in what we've got. We're in uh, Euro Aussie. Modify. This is not trades, this is trades. Your Aussie. Da, da, da. Putting an alphabetical, there it is. Modify the trade. Can we reduce it? How do you reduce a trade? Right click. Click that. Click that. Click close. I want to close the trade now. I want to reduce it. Euro Aussie. Modify the trade. I just changed the units. No, I can't. Hmm. I guess I don't know how to do it. Double click. Right click. Okay, let's just move on with our life. Euro Aussie, Euro CAD, look at the daily chart. Daily chart says, sitting up there, is it gonna go down? Who knows? Nothing to see here. Euro chip, I wanna get some good, good trades that are like so obvious. Lower high, lower high, lower high. But then the same low. A triple low, but it's generally going down. I reckon we're safe to trade that. Let's do it. I'll get rid of all these city lines. Delete, delete, delete. Put in a stop loss here and short and be happy. And zero dot. Nine six one zero two thirteen 
what is this, too much, 300, 300 euros, 11 dollars, 16 dollars of margin, I'm happy with that, let's just let it ride and see where it goes, trend is down, lower highs, lower lows, pretty happy, euro pound, we already shorted the euro, I <laughs> should have shorted it there, eh? Euro Kiwi looks pretty range bound, but it's not at the top or the bottom of the range, so I'll leave it. Pound Aussie also range bound, but could be higher, 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 higher. Could be going up. Nothing to do. Pound CAD. That looks pretty going up. I reckon I should long that. What other pound can do we have here? What a pound Japan, we were longing the pound. I'm gonna be longing it again. What other can do we have? Nothing in CAD. Oh, Aussie CAD and we're short. We're longing the CAD, so this will balance that out. Cool, buy stop loss and one dot seven seven one sixty eleven dollars risk and we're just gonna go long bam don't need to pull that anymore because it's already there now and pound chiff maybe we should get away from the pound for a bit low high there it's gonna be, it's gonna go down pound japan Good old Japan longing, we're already longing it. Just have to wait. Pound Kiwi. Maybe we should get away from pound pairs now because we've got two on the go already. Kiwi CAD. It's going to bounce off that trend line. We'll just wait for it to happen. Kiwi Chiff. Lower high, lower high. Already short. Kiwi Japan, it's going to go up. They're both going up, so it's kind of like not going to do anything. Kiwi US, oh, look at that, so range bound. But we need it to bounce off the bottom there. US CAD, it's also range bound, but we need it to bounce off the top. US Chiff, and we're done. We're long here, we've got to take profit, we're happy. It's bouncing off the bottom. We got in at a reasonable time. Happiness, thank you for watching my video. Bye.